How to be productive as an INTP. The logician personality includes some of the brightest and most intellectual minds in the world. While INTPs are famous for their creativity and thirst for knowledge, they often face the problem of unproductivity and procrastination. Their mind is always buzzing with new ideas, and it gets hard for them to focus their energy on one task and make sure it's complete. When INTPs are trying to work on a single task, they get distracted by random thoughts, which make them go and research on new topics, leaving the one they were doing behind. But there are some ways that are effective in increasing the efficiency and productivity of INTPs and helping them achieve their goals. Today, we are going to see some tips on how to be productive as an INTP. But before we dive into it, please remember that we make these videos for free for your entertainment, and all we ask in return is that you click the like button and subscribe with the notification bell on. Prioritize tasks and make a to-do list. INTPs have a lot of different interests, which make them go off the track and slow their success. To ensure that you stay on course, you should make a list of all the important tasks that are high on your priority list and also make a section to record their success. You don't just have to make a reminder of your tasks, but you have to keep them in front of you as you are working so you don't overlook them and get involved somewhere else. Productivity is basically making sure that you stay on course without getting sidetracked. You can be productive and have a flexible working schedule simultaneously. But being flexible doesn't mean you keep on working on new goals from scratch instead of completing the ones you know have greater importance. Try to make a to-do list and list down all pending tasks. After that, start working on them one by one, and as you complete them, scratch them off the list. You don't have to work all the time. You can take some time to try new things, but don't indulge in them completely. Move according to your priority, from the tasks that are to be done urgently to those that need to be scheduled for later on. Those which are not particularly important and are just draining your energy, discard those from your list. When you categorize your work and give different tasks, you will see less of your time is wasted and you start getting results instead of having a pile of incomplete tasks which feel like a burden. Set a timer to differentiate between your work and free time. One of the most common problems of INTPs is that once they take a break, their 5 seconds turn into an hour. When they are working, they take unchecked breaks, which leads them to counterproductive behavior. To overcome this, the first thing you have to do is set a timer so you can identify your work time and your free time. The timer will keep you in check. Suppose you are working on a task that doesn't intrigue you, but your timer will get you through it because your mind will keep reminding you that you have to push through 20 more minutes, and then you can have a break. Alternating work with breaks is a very famous technique that is used to enhance productivity. There are some ways and techniques through which you can divide your time between free time and work time. First, there is the Pomodoro Technique which has 25-minute intervals of work followed by 5-minute breaks. And then comes the golden ratio, which uses longer work intervals with 52-minute work intervals and 17-minute breaks. You can pick any technique that suits you and divide your time, so you don't get overburdened that you become stressed or over-relaxed that you hardly complete any task. Do you alternate your work time with your free time? Does this help in being more productive? Tell us in the comment section below. Devise a stress-busting plan. When there are a lot of work on someone's plate, they tend to get distracted and stressed. So you have to make a mental list of all the activities you can do once the boredom hits and you get irritated. You can try doing some workout, listening to music, reaching out to a friend, solving crossword puzzles, or doing therapeutic activities like yoga or washing dishes. When you do some recreational activities, your stress will be automatically lifted and you will no longer feel compressed. 
a good stress-busting plan can prevent procrastination from knocking you down during times when your brain is fried and confused and can make you more productive. Try using 5 minutes rule. INTPs think a lot. A million thoughts are hovering in their mind, but most of them don't make it out as a practical outcome. They waste their entire time wondering and theorizing about stuff that they hardly get any time to divert their attention from thinking to doing something practically. So the best way to overcome this is to use the 5 minute rule. So what is the 5 minute rule? When you think of some task that you need to do, count down from 5 and as soon as you reach 0, start doing it. This method will fix 90% of your issues with procrastination. When you do not spend your entire time just planning what you have to do and actually do it, your results and productivity will automatically increase. Instead of going from one idea to another, you will stick with your one thought, work on it, produce results, and then move forward. Do you think this 5-minute rule can help you get better? If yes, tell us in the comments below. Practice positive self-talk it is very natural that when you're trying to do something and you fail, you blame yourself and say negative things that lower your morale. Try to give yourself positive self-talk and pep talk before you start your day. I know, many people will say, what is the use of talking about positive things? So when you give your positive affirmations to yourself and keep repeating positive phrases, you get the energy to rewire your thought patterns and reframe failures in a very realistic manner. Instead of saying, I am a lazy person who can hardly get anything done and I am of no use, try saying, today I will try my best to complete some of my important tasks and I know I will be successful. Instead of saying, you don't even need to try, you are a failure and you are going to fail miserably this time and every time you make an effort. Try saying, there are a lot of responsibilities I have to fulfill, and I will have the chance to explore them. I just have to take it slow and do right by every task. When you start talking to yourself in a positive and hopeful tone, your behavior will change. From motivation to self-esteem, your inner monologue directly influences how you make decisions and builds your character. By reprogramming your natural capabilities, you will allow yourself to accumulate good habits. Just don't be hard on yourself and give yourself time to get things done one by one. Give yourself rewards. A reward system always increases motivation to perform better because you know when you are going to get your tasks done, you will get an advantage in the end. You can set a reward system where you get something from your good behavior. I will give you some suggestions for rewards. You can catch up with your favorite friend, turn on Netflix and watch your favorite show, go on an online shopping spree, or enjoy your free time doing nothing. You can set different levels of awards according to different levels of tasks. As you go higher on the list, your work gets done and you are rewarded handsomely. Do you think a reward system is a good motivator for increasing productivity? Have you worked on something passionately because you know, in the end, you will be given something? Share your experiences below. Keep the associated people in the loop. INTPs are pure introverts who like working on their own without consulting other people. But when they are a part of an organization, they miss important updates because they don't keep the relevant people in the loop, which is why they lack in their daily tasks. The first thing to do is keep the appropriate people in the loop, have regular interaction with them, and be a part of formal and informal chats so you can have a clear idea of the current situation and how you have to plan and align your work. If you don't do this, you may spend your time explaining to others why you did what you did and why you drifted to the right when everyone was supposed to go to the left. Share responsibility with your team members and let them know what you're doing or thinking. They can help you keep your focus on the right path so you don't have to waste your energy on the things that have no importance. Make a routine. The tips we discussed today will not be successful if you don't repeat them on a daily basis. When you are following the 5-minute rule, prioritizing your tasks, 
making a to-do list, and having a good system, make sure that you are on the right path. Try to implement the routine daily so you can get used to the idea of productivity and you don't sway from your goals. It is difficult for INTPs to demolish procrastination and increase their productivity. But with patience and perseverance, they can do better. This was all from our side today. How have you tackled your tendency to put everything off until the last minute? Do you have anything to add to our list? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. We would love to hear your reviews. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it with your friends. You can keep enjoying our content by clicking on the screen. We'll see you guys in the next video.